What's up, Brewsters? I thought it was about time that I bothered you all with another video. I'm bringing you a new installment of Crafting with Cat, and this time we're keeping it short and sweet. Today, I'm going to be decoupaging a chicken. We're a stylish duo, the two of us. Her name is Priscilla. Yes, I did go ahead and name her. And as you can tell, she's already been painted white. I did that because I do not want to have to deal with the repercussions of not having painted a base coat. That's enough dawdling. Enjoy the following time lapses. And I'll let voiceover cat take over from here. Howdy my friends. I don't think I need to do much explaining because I'm pretty sure this video speaks for itself. I don't really know where to start with this voiceover, so how about I just tell you guys what's going on? Obviously I'd gone ahead and painted her white because I was not about to deal with having to do multiple coats of decoupage and all that faff. Faff? Falafel? And then I went ahead and cut out some squares of this Easter patterned paper which I had, as well as some pictures which I'd printed out. Said printouts were obviously very suitable to be put on an Eastery chicken, as I was using pictures such as eggs, Easter eggs, grass, wheat fields, and the occasional rabbit. Other, more obscure additions to her feathery attire included live chicks and chickens, as well as the odd cutlet of chicken boob or drumstick. I promise it's perfectly normal to do things like that. I am vegetarian after all. To further justify me doing this, I'm going to compare it to Bella Hadid wearing a golden necklace of her lungs. I mean, that's basically her wearing her insides on the outside, so why shouldn't Priscilla be able to do the same? Are you being chickenist? But anyway, I was going for a patchwork quilt design, which is why I'm basically just layering things randomly wherever it seems to look at least half decent. And I just kept layering and layering and layering and layering some more until... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Besties, I have made a grave mistake. The sun has decided to say toodles. I have been doing this for two hours and it's, it's eight o'clock in the evening. I'm a little bit ravenous, so I'm gonna go eat some food and then I'll continue this adventure tomorrow. For anyone wondering, this is my setup for today. I have my ring light with Priscilla being an absolute babe. Obviously I have my tripod here as well. Then I have tissues for obvious reasons, further pictures, scissors, a pillow, which I was laying on. Yes, I'm on the floor. Priscilla, who's absolutely absolutely vibing, will fix her foot, I think, I hope. The glue, which has been holding everybody, including myself, together. And my iPad and the copious amount of cables, we won't talk about that, but my iPad has been giving me bloody brilliant Spotify tunes. I would like to thank Mr. Michael Jackson, Harry Styles, Harry's house, and the Totoro soundtrack. These things have been also Prince Purple Rain. Ooh, babes, love them. They've been keeping me alive for the last two hours, so. Anyways, I'm going insane at this point. I'll see you all tomorrow for yet another time lapse. I have placed Priscilla in her nesting box for the night. And with that, we concluded day one of gluing bits of paper to an oddly shaped chunk of cardboard. We'd made significant progress, but had still not fully finished her body. <coughs> day two rolled around and I was ready to attack this hen with the fervor of a seagull ready to steal your fish and chips. <laughs> Those things can get feisty, by the way. I'd printed out some more pictures of chickens, including the famous Minecraft chicken, some live chickens, and some roast chickens. A quick note on that Cadbury's chocolate wrapper. I was looking for something golden to embellish Priscilla's beak with, and that was when my mother and I came across said wrapper on one of our walks. Being the good civilians that we are, we picked it up. Spoiler alert, I didn't end up using the wrapper because it wouldn't stick. The rest of this time lapse is me hopelessly and stubbornly trying to get it to stick. Instead, I opted for some golden Christmas wrapping paper, which I should have done in the first place, and I was able to finish her entire body. And then it was time to start fine lining everything so that everything would have a nice accent. And here's the amount of fine lining I've been able to finish for day two. In other words, not a lot. <sighs> now, this whole fine lining business seems to take me an absolute age. I was fine lining left, right, and center. I swear it took me like two months to finish her. Just kidding, it was more like two days. But at the end, all of her patchwork squares were nicely outlined, so I was happy. Right, folks, I have finally finished fine lining Priscilla. She does not look perfect by any means, but it's not gonna get any better, so I'm gonna leave it at this. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I was going for like a patchwork quilt kind of design, and I've already started with some stitches on this one panel, so I still have to do the entirety of her body. And then her 
Damn it, I'm not finished. Well, I was going to say that I still have to do her feet. And then I noticed I have to do this little bit here. Mm, this chicken is literally endless. I swear I've been doing this for hours. But her feet still need doing. Either way, I'm going to make them like chicken feet. I'm going to paint them. See you guys later. Thankfully, the stitches took a lot less time than the fine lining itself. So she was a stitched up lady in no time. Once I'd done said stitching, it was, as per mentioned, time to paint. Folks, I have an issue. I can't find my paint palette. And so, to mix the paint for Priscilla's feet, I'm gonna have to use, well, this is the most creative thing I've come up with, the back of this old notebook, which somehow got destroyed, and I'm gonna mix paint on this. So, mix paint I did. This is illegal, 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 this should not be happening. Who let me touch paint? Hey mother, how yellow are chicken feet supposed to be? I had to do a lot of mixing and trial and error to find the most ideal chicken foot colour, and the one that I'm using in these clips is not actually the final one that I went with. The damage has been done. Update everybody, Priscilla's feet are officially finished. I've also given them a bit of a gold sheen. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get some better pictures in some nice light later. I'm not gonna reveal her fully to you just yet because I want to do a special grand reveal. But now there's only one last thing left to do. That was so anticlimactic because this paint pen is so bad. And now that I've signed off on my masterpiece, it's time to give you all the grand reveal. First of all, I'd just like to acknowledge this stop motion which I've got going on here. It took me way too long to figure out, but it's actually slaying. Priscilla really went from boring bridesmaid to being the life of the party, and I'm so proud of her progress. I mean, just look at that lopsided smile. She's actually the most imperfect, perfect thing I've ever seen, and that is the biggest oxymoron I've heard in quite a while. She's got an egg where the eggs come from, and is covered in this visual cacophony of colourful, fabulous things. Priscilla is an absolute trendsetter in the spring-summer collection for all poultry to have ever existed, so of course I had to give her a little bit of a gift bow on her neck to let her know that she is the prized chicken around her. Fun fact, Google actually let me know that the scientific name for a chicken is a Gallus Gallus Domesticus, so there's your daily dose of information that you definitely didn't need. And with that, our chicken decoupaging adventure comes to an unfortunate end. And so... Hang on. Priscilla's just laid an egg. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Why is it purple? Oh, there's even more over there! Well, you've been a busy hen, haven't you? I mean, I'm not complaining. I like a good egg, but... I'd still like an explanation as to why they're technicolored. <laughs> and an egg explanation you shall get. I may have lied a little bit when I said that Priscilla laid those eggs because we actually dyed them ourselves. Most of you don't know this, but I'm actually half Russian, half German. And this method here that I'm showing you right now is our Russian method of dyeing eggs. We peel a butt ton of onions, both the red and the yellow, and then force their skins into a large pot with boiling water, into which we then carefully lower our chosen eggs until they are cooked through and have our desired colour. It symbolises the blood of Christ and is known as the Holy, Holy Red. red. And that's how the rooster red eggs came to be. <laughs> what about Priscilla's blue and purple eggs, you might be asking? Well, that's where our German traditions come in. The magic behind these eggs comes in the form of these little dissolvable tablets. Take one of said tablets and add two tablespoons of vinegar and a cup of water. Boom! Boom! Your concoction from hell is complete and you are now ready to drown, I mean die, your Easter eggs. Don't forget to protect your surfaces, unless you're willing to cope with a purple can stop for the rest of your life, and cook those eggs. We've all seen one of those documentaries about what happens when you eat raw eggs, so I don't think I need to explain myself here. Once you've taken said precautions, you can take your eggs for a swim, for a swim, in their colourful bathtubs. Hey yo, look like I'm going for a swim. Look like I'm going for a Blue egg is not very blue. Apologies for the abrupt change of tone here. According to the packet, the eggs are supposed to be in their appointed mug of paint water for around 5 minutes, but we timed it and it actually takes about 10 for them to gain some colour. Corporate scan if you ask me. This is my Shrek egg. And yes, there were two green eggs. Here's me awkwardly trying to grease the eggs to make them shiny whilst holding the camera. But guess who ate those two green eggs? Ah oh, yes, Father Zoom. Those were my eggs, my friend. 
<sighs> don't know why I wrote him an Easter card after that. Merry egg. Right, okay, so this is actually the end of the video now. I hope you and your family had a wonderful Easter if you celebrated, and that right now you are doing what makes you smile, and that you're staying very classy and very cool. I mean, take Priscilla as an example. She's laying Technicolored eggs. And with that being said, Priscilla and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at CatTheCucumber, for more pictures of this fabulous queen. I'll see you all next week. Toodles! Today, I'm going to be decoupaging a chicken!